Now from Angel Stadium in Anaheim, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And on the hill in this one, Patrick Sandoval. How about a scouting report on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Nope. Next okay. offering misses, and a count two and one. And there's a ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. The pitch. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Steel, Raphael steel, steel. Devers up to hit. Runner on the goal. <laughs> Throw to second. Ow! Not a fast runner on the base path, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Ripped on the ground a second in plenty of time to first. And Devers is set down. Here's Turner now. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. And that's in for a strike. We got full count. He goes down looking. Red Sox nothing. Angels coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Angel Stadium. And starting this one, Chris Sale. And well, Sale's a strikeout pitcher, and the thing about it is he'll throw strikes early, but then start teasing the zones, and that's what the great ones do. You got to make sure you elevate him, get him out over the plate. That's the only way you're going to have a chance. Sale in a one-two. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's Trout. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And a count one and two. At 30 years old, Mike Trout, 1,000 runs, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. The only other players in Major League history with those. In the air, right field. Bounces over the wall in foul ground. It's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll in the second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Sail ready. Check swing, and it's popped up. And that's a fair ball. In comes the first run of the game as the Angels take the lead to second, but way too late, safe there. No, they didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often, but right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. 
Now it's Anthony Rendon. And Sale deals. And that one hammered. Duvall raging back towards the wall. Back some more. It's gone. He got just enough of that one. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. Brandon Drury to the plate. Sale delivers. That one is absolutely belted. It bangs off the wall. And he's there at third with a triple. Everything came together for him. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Verdugo ranging back. Gone! So he blasts one out the other way, and they throw a pair on the board. It's five zip. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball, and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Gior Shella steps in. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Hunter Renfro hits one out, and they add on. It's 6-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make him. Now on the bump, Josh Winkowski. He's been. Being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Bases empty with two away. Logan Ohapi, the next. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Ripped, but it curls foul. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and... That one ripped. Bangs off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. So, man aboard. Next to hit, Adam Duvall. Struck him out swinging. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now batting Tristan Casas. The next oh, pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. One out, and a runner at second. Next that's one out. is off the play, and that's ball three. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's gonna argue at all. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Out number two. Here's Christian Arroyo, 2-2 two -two now. 
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And a pitch. And that's a base hit. Yoshida around third. Head for a slide and he's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Arroyo off of first with two away. Here's a rocket out to left. Ward makes the grab, and that's the inning. One run, a pair of hits, no errors. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Now at the plate, Taylor Ward. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Righty delivers. Line drive. Base hit as he pulls up short. All over that one right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Man at first, here's Mike Trout. One for one with a double and a run score. Ball. Pitch misses, ball three. There's a strike. Nobody out, runner at first. This one high in the air to left center. Duvall under it. Makes the grab, one down. Here's Shohei Otani, doubled in his first A.B. Otani. Left hand batter waits. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. As a hitter, there's not a whole lot better of a feeling than a double into the gap. Right off the bat, you know you put a great swing on the baseball. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. So first and second with two outs. Digging in, Brandon Drury. He tripled and scored his first time. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Struck him out looking. And welcome back. New he inning getting started. Shot. And now, the Enrique Hernandez. Enrique Hernandez. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. The lefty ready and a 1 1. And a foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at bat alive. Next one just misses. And the count's even at two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now two gone. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have one no ball. chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Two down, nobody on. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. The 1-1. Foul ball there. 
You know, these Angels putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. Looking at the numbers, they've got four hits when they're behind. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it's gone! That one felt good. His second home run of the game, it's 7-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. Here's Gio Urshela. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. One and two. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. The right fielder. Now it's Hunter Renfro. The solo homer his first time. Renfro. And a 2-1 on the way. Drilled the left center, way back there, and that is gone. He'll touch them all. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 8-1. Now he's just showing off out there. And who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat and watch it go a long way. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Into center and a base hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. That's hard hit on the line. Duvall makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. One for two. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Duval right there to make the grab. And that is that. But the long ball was worth. Start of the fourth. And stepping in for Boston, Justin Turner. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Kicks and fires. And he grounds one to the right side. Ring Hifo tosses to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. On the ground to third. Sends it to first, and that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left to the bottom. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the DH for the Angels, Shohei Otani. The pitch. Out there to center. Duvall settles under this one. He's there. He's got it. One down. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. And it drops in. So a man aboard now with one away. One down. And now the first baseman, Brandon Drury. One for two in the game. He tripled and scored in the first. Swing and a miss. And the count. One and two. The punch out there, two away. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting the chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. And that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. 
One run across. Rangifo coming home. Arroyo with a relay throw. Head first slide safe at the plate. And they now lead by nine. Which is so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Zach Kelly. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Urshela at second with two down. Out towards right center field. Verdugo makes the grab on the run. Back in Anaheim. We go to the top of the fifth. And now Tristan Casas. Next offering is in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Fights it off. He'll see another. The one-two. Got him looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Man at first. Connor Wong digs in now. He's 0 for 1. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. And in one hops the wall. Lead runner holds it third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Bounced out to short. Urshela to first in time. Now two away as they get a run across. So the lineup flips over. Here's Alex Verdugo. Verdugo, a former second round pick by the Dodgers back. It, now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that one hops the wall. The run comes in from second, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Well, here we are, third time through oh, the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And one and two. And right back to the mound. Tosses to first. And Devers is set down. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Back here at Angel Stadium. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan Ohapi. The 1-1. One -one. And that's him for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Caleb Ork getting ready to go. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Drops into the glove. One away. The left fielder, number three, Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ward. Taylor Ward, the next to hit. One for three. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Taylor Ward blasts one out, and they tack one on the board. It's 11-3. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. 
And now batting, Mike Trout. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. A towering home run. And they tack on to their lead. It's 12-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Kicks and deals. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. It's a double, and he's three for four tonight. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that. Pitch, and right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Here's Otani flying around third. He scores, and it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Caleb Ort. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Hernandez makes the catch in and over. Mike Trout doing Mike. Justin Turner now. Leading off for the Red Sox. The designated hitter, Justin Turner. On the ground, and oh, foul ball. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The wind of the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So now it's the four hole hitter, Masataka Yoshida. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. Crushed to right, and that one's going to lead the park. Out of here. Home run. That was a moonshot, and they're chipping away. It's 13 4. A hitter recognizes that breaking ball that's up in the zone. He hopes that it just comes down enough that it's a pitch he can attack. Well, he was right on top of that one. Really good swing. Adam Duvall at the plate. Hot shot to third. Rendon oh. throw to first. That's out number two. Up next for the Red Sox. The first baseman, Tristan. Two outs, base is empty. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Outside, that's Next pitch is outside. That one drilled left field. Ward makes the play, and that's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number six. You're watching Major League. And welcome back. And the batter now, Gio Urshela. Not shortstop. Here comes a pitch. Fly ball down the line. Verdugo ranging after it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And a quick out number one. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Hunter Renfro. There's a strike.
Next pitch has popped up. Hernandez makes the catch. Two down. Now batting. Catcher. Logan O'Hoppy, the next to hit for the Angels. O'Hoppy. And that one wrapped foul. That misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Ward. He's already homered here in this one. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. Angels are out. Back here at the ballpark. Ooh, now it's the second off. baseman, Christian second Arroyo. Baseman. Christian. Here comes the skipper, Matt Moore, on a pitch out of the pen here. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called Number upon 55. with big leads because oh, it just doesn't have the same intensity oh. as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations oh, like this as well. And a 3-1 on the way. That's through there for a strike. Three, two. Ground ball right side, and that's just foul. And a pitch. Dives, and he can't hang on. The flip to the pitcher covering. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Now batting. Catch it. Connor. Wall. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. The pitch to the right side. Steps on first for the out. The batter, number five. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Kike, Kike Hernandez. Hernandez. Two outs. That one's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Bottom of the inning, and now here is Mike Trout. The two on. On a line out towards center. And out number one on the grab. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Hammered to center. No doubt about this one. Way out of here. Gone. Shohei Otani goes deep, and they add to their lead. It's 14-4. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Anthony Rendon, the next to hit for the Angels. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Gathers and throws. He's that out. takes care of Rendon. The first baseman, number one. And here is Brandon, Brandon Drury. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. The one, two. Line drive, base hit. 
Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Gio Urshela to the plate. And now it's one and two. In the air, right side of the infield. Casas makes the play. And that is the third out of the inning. Angels get one with a solo homer. Eighth inning coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in, Alex Verdugo at the belt and fires. We got a full count. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And he deals. That one hammered center field. Trout going back on this one. On the warning track, and hauls it in. Here's Rafael Devers. And Devers hits that one. Renfro makes the catch, and there's two away. The batter, number two, designated. Two hitter. outs, base is empty. Justin. And next for the Red Sox, Justin Turner. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Bottom of the eighth. So in now for the Angels, Hunter Renfro. The right field. And a pitch. Swings through that. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. And a one-two. Out to short. Hernandez. And Renfro is retired. Now batting. Catcher. And here is Logan Ohapi. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. And the right hander deals. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. They say he went. Gets to it on to first. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. Up next for the Angels. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. The one two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. All set to start the ninth in this one. Still stepping in for Boston. Masataka. Masataka Yoshida. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Aaron Loop. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him. So he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. One, two now. And now two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now one away. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. 
That's Next one ball. misses, and it's two and one. Ball. That's a little bit low. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Showed some really nice patience now in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Got him looking. That's out number two. So they're down to their final out. Here's the second baseman, Christian Arroyo. And now one <laughs> strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. 14-4 to 4 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Can't fall asleep, I gotta stand tall, that's what a leader do. Follow me, I'm leading you.